Hi, my name is Matt Easton, and in this video, I'm going to give you six tips on how to give a great deposition. I've been practicing law for 25 years, and my office handles over 400 depositions a year. In this video, I'm going to give you the same tips I gave my brother, and I'm sure they'll work great for you. Tip one to giving a great deposition is to do exactly what you're doing now, and that's to prepare. Not just by watching videos like this, but sit down with your attorney and discuss with him or her two basic things. One is liability. What are the challenges of proving your case? What are the other witnesses going to say? Two, you want to look into the issues over damages. Was there a gap in treatment? Was there a delay? Did you have pre-existing injuries? So prepare by going over your testimony with your attorney over liability and damages. Tip two is to just understand the deposition process so you can know what's coming next. Attorneys are creatures of habit and they almost always start the deposition off with admonishments explaining the rules of the deposition such as no uh-huhs and uh-uhs and under penalty of perjury. Once they're done with that, then they almost always go into what we call the background stage. And in the background stage, they're going to ask you questions to determine who you are and what you're about. What's your educational background? What's your employment history? Have you had prior claims? Once they've done with that, and by the way, they do that in a chronological order, then they chronologically go through the day of the event. And they say what happened in the morning, in the afternoon, the hour leading up to, the minutes, the seconds, and the event itself. After they're done with that, chronologically, they almost always go through the damage phase. Did you go to the emergency room right away? When did you next go to the doctor? When did you next go to the doctor? Did you miss work? How long did you miss work? It's almost always in a chronological basis. So as long as you're anticipating what the next question is going to be, you'll be one step ahead of the person taking your deposition. The third tip, as simple as it sounds, is actually hard, and it's to just answer the exact question asked of you. People so often want to expand on the answer, want to explain their answer, you don't. For example, if they ask me, what year did you graduate from high school? My answer is simply, 1985. End of answer. Unfortunately, clients feel compelled to want to explain more and they will say, well, let's see, I was 17 when I graduated and Prince's Purple Rain was top of the charts. So yes, it was 1985. Well, unfortunately, by answering it that way, you've taken longer in the deposition and even worse, you've possibly given them material to cross-examine you on. Now, when you graduate from high school isn't really that relevant, but if they were asking times and date references related to your accident and you gave them additional material to cross-examine you on, you're only hurting your case. So really focus on answering just the question asked, nothing more. Tip four follows perfectly out of tip three, and it's simply don't try and argue your case. That's not a judge or a jury taking your deposition, and you're not in an arbitration or a trial. You're in a deposition. As bad as you want to explain the situation, as bad as you want to say yes, but, or no, but, don't. If the question calls for a yes, it's simply a yes. You hired a great lawyer, hopefully, to argue your case for you. Let them do it later on. The fifth tip to giving a great deposition is something your attorney is hopefully doing for you, but you should be aware of as well, and that's to make sure you take breaks. The worst testimony we usually see in deposition is at the end of a long day or the end of a long session. Be sure you're taking a break every 45 to 60 minutes to make sure that you stay fresh and give your best testimony throughout the whole day. The sixth tip I shouldn't even have to say, but I just have to, and that is be sure you tell the truth. Every case I've ever had has a blemish on it. There's some fact or some circumstance I wish was just a little bit different, but you can't change those. They are what they are. Tell the truth. Once again, my name is Matt Eason. I'm a personal injury attorney. Those are my six tips on how to give a great deposition, and click below for more information.